Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for May. So this could happen at any time in May, and I need you to know that not every reading is for you. So let's just see what we have. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh. I don't know if you can see it. You couldn't, but there it is. Liar. You're dealing with a liar. Somebody's not telling the truth. So we got, we definitely have a liar here. Um, I don't know. It, it, there's somebody in this reading that isn't telling the truth. So, that's fun. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Virgo? The world. So the world is a completion of a cycle. It is an accomplishment, a phase of your life that is coming to an end. Something big, something big is, is being accomplished. You've accomplished something. You are at the end of a journey. Now you are about to embark on a new one. This liar is in the past. This is a major completion. Something has caused your evolution. There could be a change of residence here. This is a whole new life. It's a whole new world. It's a new you. There's probably some public recognition that could be coming. You're, you're completing one cycle and beginning a new one. Congratulations is what I wanna say. So what do we have for Virgo? This is leaving the past behind. So you are, this is like done, completely done with something. Nature. How beautiful it is. It's a time of transformation. I just zoned right in on that butterfly. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend quality time outdoors. So during May, you need to spend as much time as you can outdoors in the world, right? Um, you're healing from something. Uh has to do with this right here it has to do with some sort of lies this is a healing energy a whole new life a whole new beginning it's absolutely beautiful it's a time of transformation and new beginnings here you have learned some sort of lesson it's the it's it's this kind of stuff that teaches us lessons so there's you can consider this a, su a success What do we have for Virgo? Oh, there we go. Death! Okay, well that is a major ending that leads to a new beginning. That, that is a profound life change. There's your transformation that I was talking about. It's a time of transition. This is renewal. It's an ending. It's profound change. We have an, a separation or a loss or an ending that leads to a new beginning. So you do have a new beginning here. You definitely do. Five of 
Five of Swords. Knight of Wands. Now this is at now, think later. Um, here we have a, some sort of betrayal. It's time to walk away. Walking away from something that hurt you. Somebody that hurt you. I think in, this is in your right now energy though. This is some sort of um, pain by the looks of things because this is a painful situation, the Five of Swords. This is conflict. It's defeated. It's betrayal. It is... Um, walking away from a hostile situation. There's some sort of non-negotiable as well. This is not negotiable. It's not. I think there's been some sort of abuse, whether it's mental abuse, verbal abuse. But anyway, it's over because we have two ending cards right next to it. So this is the end of an abusive situation. I feel like you were belittled or you were cut down or... You were mentally abused or neglected or something like that. It's still in your energy, obviously, because that's right in the middle. That's in your energy. I feel I feel like you are, I don't know if you're in some sort of um, abusive situation. And you, this is mental. It is mental. There's a need to remove yourself from a situation that where you're not respected. You know, I think they, they think there's a lack of respect. There's some sort of power struggle. There's some sort of conflict here. But fives are about change. So I think you are walking away from an individual that doesn't respect you. This is taking action right now. I also feel like you are, are moving pretty quickly. This is the end of a hostile situation. It's the end of something. Your walking away is going to bring you peace. Six of Wands, reverse. That is a loss. It's a loser. A one-hit wonder. You have a one-hit wonder here. Somebody that doesn't follow through with their plans. They don't care who they hurt. They look out for number one and number one only. Nine of Cups. Now, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's happiness. It's abundance. It's also ego. And we have ego in that Five of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very egotistical. This person is a show-off. You're dealing with a show-off. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't really want responsibility. Or they don't... Uh, they lie a lot. You're dealing with somebody that lies a lot. They may, and for some of you, this may be like a sexual situation, whether it's a sexual partner. This person is not interested in anything long term. They're, you got to always see what's mirroring each other. This is a sudden death, which is a sudden ending. So you may be experiencing a sudden ending this month of a situation. I think there's definitely been some sort of lies. There's been some sort of betrayal um, with an individual that may have abused their power over you. They may have took your kindness for weakness, something like that. Um, the Six of Wands reversed is a very prideful egotistical individual we have ego here in a few different cards okay we do all three of these cards and they're right together so there's somebody here that is very egotistical that loves attention this person is attention seeking and they may have entered your life you know looking for attention and now they don't want to have anything to do with it Very lusty energy with this card. There's no victory here. There's no success in this situation because whoever you're dealing with is not interested in 
uh, sticking around, put it that way. There could be a fight or a, or something like that because this is a battle of some sort. This is a, the five of wands comes before the six of wands. This is losing a battle, losing a fight. I feel like there's some sort of power struggle here that you may be encountering this month. But whatever this power struggle is, it's coming to an end. Trust me, it is. Happiness is coming, but I think there's a fight before it comes or a walking away or a uh, saying no because this is a no answer. Nope. Nope. I don't want to be a part of this. I just, I'm not interested. That kind of thing. Somebody is going to be saying the words no or hearing the words no. This is unwelcome news. There's no staying power here. We got somebody here who is very much, I don't know if they're in the spotlight and they love attention and they may have uh, sought attention from you and they got what they wanted and now they're gone. Or they're leaving. Um, whatever is happening, this is a lesson being learned because of that world card. It is a major, it's a major lesson. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. A lesson being learned. We have an ending that leads to a new beginning. We definitely have a new life on the horizon here. After walking away from this egotistical individual that whoever it is that you've been dealing with. I think that you are going to be moving in a new direction. This is taking action right now. And this is in a future position. Queen of Wands. Two of Swords. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is very, very attractive. They're attractive. They do get a lot of attention. They may have another option. They may be exploring their options. They're torn. You know, whoever you're dealing with is torn between two people. And that's why they're not, I don't, they may not be really communicating with you or they're not really telling you the truth or something like that. There is another option here. Whoever you're dealing with is, uh, they may be, you know, uh, I don't know, there could, there could be sex here, just being honest. They may be engaging with another person that they are more attracted to or they got a new interest that is... Uh, giving them attention and that's why they are not, they're betraying you or they're not giving you what you need or they're hurting you. This, whoever you're dealing with is definitely dealing with two options. They are torn. They're torn between two, two, uh, they're both, there's divided loyalty here. This person is struggling to make a decision. They are Maybe they could also be protecting themselves from a relationship. Maybe they've they're being they're holding themselves back. Maybe they're just engaging in sexual situations because they want to protect themselves. I don't see a lot of love here. I see that nine of cups, but I feel like this is an intent attention seeking individual who wants to have it all. It's like they they want to they want all the attention that they can get, but it doesn't feel like this is commitment material. It feels like there's there's some sort of blocking, blocking of emotions and just engaging in sexual whatever to uh, get the needs met. So anyhow, I feel like there is another option here and, and uh, that is why you are uh, getting hurt by whoever it is that is hurting you. But... With that world card, that is a major ending next to the death card. So we have an ending that leads to a new beginning. But I feel like you need to um, not avoid the truth. Because the two of swords is avoiding the truth. It's being in denial. You need to open your eyes. It's like you're. It's almost like you're refusing to see who this person is. And maybe you're, you're very attracted. Maybe there's lust involved. And you're mistaking lust for love. I don't see love here. And I don't care about that nine of cups because that nine of cups is, that's ego, that's happiness. That's, that's somebody that is in their ego that is enjoying all the attention that they are getting. 
you are dealing with an intention seeking individual that doesn't care who they hurt as long as they get attention and this could be vice versa so if you are the cross watcher watching this i mean i have to be honest here we have an intention seeking individual who um, is loving the attention that they get and they're not really looking for a commitment and perhaps you need to be honest with yourself and walk away I do see blocking of emotions, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is in denial. They are avoiding. They are avoiding the truth. This is not love, okay? Love does not betray. Love does not look for somebody else. Love does not uh, engage and flirt and, and have sex with other people. Um, this is a lack of emotional content. This is tears. It is sadness. It is shutting down emotionally, not looking for love, not interested in love. I think we have somebody here that is blocking their heart chakra. Their heart is not emotionally available. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is very attention-seeking. This person is um, very attractive, and they know it. They do know it. They're not, they're not, it doesn't lead to anything successful with this person. So perhaps you need to be strong. You need to be strong. You need to hold your head up high. You need to be uh, proud of who you are and you need to beat feet. I feel like you need to take action right now to acknowledge who it is that you're dealing with. I also feel a very uh, attractive, sexy woman here who does have somebody coming into their life, somebody that is well suited for them. Could be somebody of the same element. So, say if it's a say it's a fire sign, it's another fire sign coming in. If it's an earth sign, it's another earth sign coming in. Somebody that they have more in common with. I feel like that's what's happening here. We, we do have a very strong, independent person who uh, is determined to get what they want, that is unwilling to move forward, and they're blocking, it feels like they're blocking the... Um, their heart chakra or they're blocking themselves from falling in love until they meet their perfect match and i don't know where that message is because this is a partnership it's like no i don't i don't want it it's not perfect it's not what i'm looking for with this person that is representing the queen of wands energy and it could be any sign is very um optimistic and energetic and confident and strong and sexy and whoever this strong sexy person is is going to be meeting up with somebody that is very much in alignment with their energy and and it feels like they are going to get their wish fulfillment but it's after they open up their heart and they're not opening up. I feel like they're not really opening up their heart because it feels like they they don't feel like there's that strong of a connection. And I just I just feel that. I I feel like this is this is somebody that is in a dark place. They've been in a dark place and and they're healing and they're getting to a better place and they it's almost like they got this vision of what they want. You know, this is somebody that knows what they want. And that's why they're, maybe you don't, unfortunately, you don't fit the bill. So right now, they're just having fun. It, looking, it's almost like that dating scene. You know, until they find the one. Anyhow, we do have an individual that is um, going to be connecting with somebody that is more in alignment with them. They have a lot in common with this person. 
And maybe they've already connected and that's why they have shut you down in some way. I feel like you've been shut down. I feel like whoever you're dealing with may have a new sexual partner or a new attraction. I also feel like you you may be focusing on yourself. You may be focusing on your health this month. You may be vibrating at a different level. You may be making the choice. Maybe you're blocking your heart. You're blocking your emotions and you're working on yourself. You know, I don't see falling in love here or focusing on a relationship. I see focusing on self and, and moving and, and maybe there could be some sex here. But I don't, I don't see emotional fulfillment, okay, with another partner. I see blocking a partnership because I feel like we have an individual here that is very determined to not settle, not settle for, I don't know if there's a loser here or a one-hit wonder or something like that. Somebody could also be getting blocked, by the end of the month or the middle of the month, somebody may be getting blocked because they're dealing with an individual that, that does get a new, it feels like it's a new sexual partner. But it feels like this new partner in the end could lead to wish fulfillment for whoever this individual is. Endings lead to new beginnings. We do have an ending that leads to a beginning, a new beginning. This is a separation and a loss. Okay, from a liar, somebody has been lying about, I feel like it's about their intentions. I do feel like we have a very powerful individual here who um, is very proud of what they have accomplished. And I feel like this person is in no hurry to fall in love. And right now they're just engaging in... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's sexual banter or something like that. And But I feel like they've been blocking their emotions at the moment. I think the emotions are being blocked. They're not there. And I feel like they, they're, a choice could be made to literally block somebody and not move any further in that direction. Because I feel like there's a better match. There's a better match. And it's clear that it's a perfect match. And I feel like it's in the same element, like I said before. It's like earth and earth, water and water, air and air, fire and fire. Let's get one more card. Five of Wands reversed is letting go. It is letting go. It's the end of a conflict. It's the end of a battle. It's the end of a competition. And there is some sort of competition here. I know that there is. This is giving up the fight or it's giving up the battle. It's, it's removing themselves from the, from the playing field. So I do believe that there is a decision that is going to be made to remove. Somebody is about to give up. They're going to let go. Exhausted. This is like exhausted and fed up with the games. I'm not going to play this game anymore. So I do believe that uh, we have an end. There is also somebody here that is very, very, very attractive that is coming in. Okay, this is, and this person is a perfect match. So that's why there's an ending in a new beginning. There's an ending with a liar in a new beginning with somebody that is more uh, optimistic, more uh, enthusiastic, more uh, in alignment with yourself. So walking away from this liar brings you something that can actually grow. But there will be a need to open up. There will be a need to choose and there will be a need to open up and unblock your emotions. Because I see blocked emotions. I see in denial. I see torn, divided loyalty. You will need to make a choice. To let go of what has been hurting you. You think about the tug of war on that card. That hurts. It hurts. That's a game that, that hurts. 
You're gonna, you have to choose not to play. So I feel like in May, there will be a decision that is made to walk away from some something that has been causing you pain or strife. Maybe you have to block somebody or they block you. There is an arrival here, okay? There's a sudden arrival with somebody that, you know, you will feel probably an instant attraction to. This could be love at first sight or just an instant sexual attraction. But I feel like it could turn into love. But it's not going to be love immediately. So don't think it's love at first sight. I think it's an instant. I think it's lust. It starts out as lust. Anyhow, Virgo, it looks like it's going to be an interesting month. You are, and, and, and I do see an improved health as well. You are going to be looking fine, really fine. You're going to be looking so good. Everybody is going to notice you. Good luck.